Hi there everyone, my name is Preetam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, we will be talking about how we can import 3D model inside Office application. For example, here this is Microsoft PowerPoint, but we can also add 3D model inside other application, for example, Microsoft Word and even inside Microsoft Excel. In this video, we will be talking about three different ways how we can add model inside MS Office. Okay, here we can see this is Microsoft PowerPoint and let me quickly tell you the first way to add 3D model which is the easiest one but have some limitation for example the number of model available for that just go to insert and here we have got this 3D models now go to stock 3D model and from here from different different categories you can choose the model category and then you can choose that particular 3d model for example let's choose this hut so in this way you know you can quickly add 3d model inside your microsoft powerpoint and here you can see this option which enable you to rotate the 3d model to the direction which suits your requirement if you click here and go to 3d model here you will see the different different orientations available with this model obviously we can create a custom orientation by rotating it manually but let's say you want to place your model from back side from top side so in this way these pre-oriented state is quite useful so in this way you can place your model the way you want now we will see how we can apply animation to this model for that we will just quickly go to animation tab and here we have got some dedicated 3d animation available for example how this model should arrive and after the model arrive here you can enable this animation pane and then you can add further more animation let's say for example after the model arrive i want it to swing so I can go here and then can click on swing and now here you can see how this model is now swinging. In the same way you can also apply other transitions as well. For example after that I would like to fade this model out. So I can use this fade out or fly out. Now from animation pane we can define or decide how this animation should work like should all work together or one by one in this way you know we can adjust the animation as per our requirement now let me quickly show you how now it looks in this way guys you can import 3d model to microsoft powerpoint not only that in microsoft powerpoint you can also apply animation to your 3d model now let's talk about the method number two how you can add 3d model so the thing is you just need to search it in google for example here i just wanted to have a model of sofa so i just wrote sofa 3d and now there are plenty of website which provide free 3d models for example the cg trader let's just go inside and here we have got free as well as premium 3d model so for this particular example we will try to use a free 3d model and let me quickly show you the format that microsoft office support let's go here in insert and 3d model now i will select this device and here we have got these options so the microsoft office support film box format object format then in the polygon format 3d manufacturing format and here we can see in this website just the sofa we have 2025 sofas available free to download now you can choose any one of them for this particular case i would like to try this smaller one so let me just click it and here we need to select this free download and now we need to wait for a while make sure that you are also logged into this website you can just create account for free with the help of your google account or if you want to create a manual account you can also do that now let's just wait and here we go here we have got this option available so let's download it
now let me quickly extract it here we can see we have got the complete file available now let me just go back quickly here and I will simply drag and drop this 3d model here and here we go here we can see we have successfully imported this sofa inside our Microsoft Office the third way of having 3d model inside Microsoft Office is the best one but one of the most difficult one because for that you should know how to create 3d for example here in this software let's just go and click new and let me just quickly create a 3d model smaller one let's say I just wanted to create a cube only and here we go now you can apply colors to it and then you can export it for example let's just make this cube with this golden color I will just make these plane turn off and now I will want to export it as OBJ so I will do save as and almost every 3d software have this save as OBJ method available now I would like to save this part at the desktop now I will just close this model and it is now available at my desktop so I will simply import it so in this way guys we have seen three different method of importing 3d model inside Microsoft Office we also saw how to apply animation to our 3d model so that's all guys from my side in this video I hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe to this channel for such content if you have any doubt or question then please do let me know in comment down below and I will see you soon in the next video till then bye bye